John, thanks very much indeed. From Bangladesh to East Kilbride, Bob Mills, that's not something I'm going to say very much in my broadcasting life, but that's what we're about to do. Bob, this is a great story, isn't it? This is a great story. We've spoken about East Kilbride many times. I told you the story of yep. the two brothers in Milan in the late 50s, and one of them said, uh, Enzo said, uh, I want to start building cars. I think that's the future. And his brother, we Huey Ferrari, said, no, son. <laughs> no, no, son. <laughs> There's no money in cars. Bubble wrap. That's where the money is. And he took himself over to East Kilbride and he started Ferrari packaging, the premier packages in the whole world. And they built up, like, like, like Italian, some of the Italian companies built up Juventus and Milan and that. He built up this team from nothing and took them to the brink of Ajax of Amsterdam. Let me tell you, East Kilbride, you're spot on, Bob. East Kilbride is a club launched officially by two former old firm players, John Hartson. Uh, and John Brown, and now, incredibly, they are closing in on Ajax's record of 26 victories in a row. I think they've got 24. They'll go to within one more victory if they can beat Cowden Beef, the Blue Brazil, Blue Brazil, in the Scottish Cup tomorrow. <laughs> East Kilbride's manager, Martin Lachlan, uh, joins us today on TalkSport. Martin, good morning. Or good at, when are we? Good, yeah, good morning. Morning, Jim. Morning. I was actually trying to keep the record quiet there, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> there is no chance of that happening, Martin. And we're going to talk about it. It is incredible. What have your players done here? You, you've got, you've, you've knocked up what? Twenty-four victories on the trot. Twenty-four wins in a row, Jim. It's a, a magnificent uh, record, to be honest. I took over the club in March, and believe it or not, lost my my first game. I took over on the Monday and lost on the Wednesday. And since then, we've went on an unbelievable run of 24 games in a row. But I must say, it's great credit to the players, just because part-time players, the commitment, the desire that they put in is unbelievable. And to get this run is a great credit to them. Martin, I might be in a bit picky, but um, didn't you draw one of them? <laughs> May the 15th, wasn't that a draw? A draw, but one was that? Gretna. I don't think you can draw cup finals, can you? Oh, oh you're not wrong, Martin. You're not wrong. Just getting a bit <laughs> yeah, picky, that no, was all. <laughs> no, but to, to be honest, it's a, it's a great feat for the club and it's great exposure for them. I actually didn't know too much about the, the, the record, to be honest. It was actually the local uh, report on Nisco Bride News that told me about it. Mm. it we, we, are, we are very much uh, going with the old cliche, one game at a time, um, and we've done so well. It's brilliant, but I would say as well, there's, there's a buzz about the place with a Scottish Cup game on Saturday, so very much the, the the record will go out the window and we'll focus on the game in hand, but again, it's great exposure for the club. It is fantastic. You're, you're away to Cowdenbeath, right? Yes. Yeah, I mean, that's gonna, it's going to be hard. I mean, I know you want to keep going, Martin. You want to keep the record going. If you're a Cowdenbeath player, Bob, you're thinking, right... We're going to sort out East Kilbride today. Well, They're not going to get this record. The only problem is, if you're a Cowden Beef player, I think you're thinking more about staying in the Scottish <laughs> League at the moment because they're in big trouble. Yeah. If it wasn't for dear old Edinburgh City propping up the, the, that division. So I think I don't think they want to be playing a cup game. I think they just want to be battling to stay in the league and they certainly don't want to... Well, they, I'll tell you what they don't, and this might work, uh, I don't know how Martin plays, but they, what they certainly don't want is a draw. So you know, so they'll be they'll be pushing and, and leaving gaps because they won't want another game because they really are struggling. Mm. Uh, uh, the, the blue Brazil, uh, the, uh, the bo it's not, slightly ironic now that name. But by the way, that would be if you was in the draw and you was Cowden Beef and their players and uh, fans, whatever. East Kilbride would be the li last team that you would want. They, if you because they they would be aware of it, Mike, wouldn't they? They would be aware of your record. They'd think, no, that's the, we don't want to go and play there. Because and also we've got a couple of ex uh, Cowden Beast players oh, in our yeah. ranks at the minute. Uh, uh, and a wee bit of spice to the game as well. I'll tell um, you who you've got in your ranks as well. You've got this fella, he's a Portuguese striker, Jao Victoria. Jao, Jao's in fire. Jao scored a terrific amount of goals for us. And one you'll know as well, we've got Robbie Winter still playing at 42 as well, Jim. Robbie Winter or ex-Aberdeen then? Ex-Aberdeen. He's the oldest scorer. He scored two in the last round, so he's now the oldest scorer in the Scottish Cup. And what is he? He's 42. He played out in Norway as well, didn't he? Stavanger, I think. Uh, Brand Bergen. Brand, Brand Bergen, Brand was it? Bergen, Terrific. Yeah. Wow. How did you get this fellow Jao, Jao Victoria? 
J- Jal was at the club previous to me taking over and he had a spell out. He went to a growth and it didn't quite work out for him. Uh, and he's come back. He's one that can play at a higher level as well. You know, he's come back, got his confidence and he's firing goals in for us. So he's doing terrifically well. But what I've built this team on, Jim, is a uh, spirit. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? There's a, the boys are all in it together. Um, and I always believe team spirits worth 10 points a season. So it's very much a team a team effect, you know, we don't go for individuals, it's, it's yeah. all about the team uh, and it's been successful for us so far. Martin, have you had any sort of different preparation this week? Because um, obviously in England, in the FA Cup, the smaller teams, they always have something a little bit different where, you know, they have the different training or uh, go out and have a bit of team bonding. So have you done anything different apart from just the training? Yeah. Well, what we normally do is we, we normally train hard both nights, but we've had a, a, wee, a few injuries, to be honest with you. Um, so we've not been able to do too much. Um, I've had to take it really careful because boys will be given right up to kick off to make the match. So mm. it's been kind of low key this week. We'll certainly go for pre match meal. We've been thorough in our match reports, etc. Uh, we know everything about Cowden Beef. Um, so we're ready to go. Terrific. Uh, McC- Alan McCoy follows you very closely, doesn't he? Oh, he's up, he's up there all the time. Ali and John Brown. and yeah. And they're friendly with the owners of the club, so they're never too far away. They've never asked to come up and take a bit of training right enough, which is disappointing. <laughs> and man, you're <laughs> building a, a break. you're building a four thousand seater stadium, I think, aren't you? That that will be starting just before the end of the year as well. That, as I said, it's an ambitious club. I've been given two years to take them up to League Two, so uh, no pressure there. But um, no, the stadium's going up in the club. We have 80,000 population in East Kilbride. I think they deserve a football team, and the owners are pushing that. So uh, that should be up within a year, I would say. Well, Martin, we're going to watch for your scoreline. We're going to get score predictions here. Bob Mills is coming in with Cowdenbeath against East Kilbride. The record. Think of the record. Yeah. The record. I, th- I think I think it'll be very, very tight, but I do think Cowdenbeath at the end will start to push because I think we don't want to draw. We, it's the last thing we need is a fixer, especially with winter setting in. And I think that'll be the I think that'll be the chance. I think Joe Victoria will nick it in the last five oh, minutes. Oh, Joe Victoria. I'm going for Robbie. Robbie's gonna, Robbie Winters. Robbie gonna Winters. Get, yeah, he's going to get the winner. Yeah. In the 94th minute. 1-0. 1-0 one nil one nil. to East Coast Bride. I yeah. cannot see anything other than an East Coast Bride win, Martin. Well done Brilliant. for everything you've done so far and terrific stuff. Thanks for coming on. Good luck to you. It. Good luck, so Martin. Cheers, mate. Take care. Bye-bye. What a Rick. Can you imagine if they get there? Isn't that a great story? Oh, it's a fantastic. I mean, even if not, 25 wins on the spin. So they, they he loses. He takes over. Loses in the first, first game. game, they lose. Yeah. And someone must have thought, oh, have we dropped one here with this fella? Can't see any difference. That was on March the twenty. That was on March the twenty sixth. It's now October the eighth, and they've they've not lost since. An Ajax record. Yeah. Oh, it could go. Wow, what a great story. Great, great stuff. Great. Well done, East Coast Bride. Jim White on Talksport.